Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Mushoku Tensei OVA Reaction. I think the name of this OVA is called uh, what the Goblin Slayer or something. Eris the Goblin Slayer I think it's called. <laughs> now I do remember the episode where you know Eris kind of said that oh I'm going to do some Goblin saying she went with Rigid and uh, you know Rudy was on his own and uh like you know that that episode and i'm guessing we're going to see um Elsa's perspective what happened in that little adventure that she went to and all those things so it'll be interesting to see everything from her perspective and what she does when rudy is not there <laughs> so yeah let's get started then and uh yeah without wasting a more time and uh, i i do know um, season two has been announced for Mushiku Tensei, which is a great news, and uh, there's no uh, like you know, there's still no actual date where they said it's going to come out, but it has been announced. So I'm happy with that because we are going to get a brand new season, and Mushiku Tensei has been a fantastic experience, and I can't wait to see more. So yeah, let's get started. So I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference, and let's start this video. All right, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. What? Whoa, what is this? Who is this kid? Wow, this is a very cool animation, the way they did it. Wow, that... Okay. Okay, he's he or she is being taught magic. He's he or she is happy about that. Everyone's praising. What was that? <laughs> there she is. <laughs> Oh, that looks good. That looks good. Uh. Wow. <laughs> Look at her. She's so happy. <laughs> Just following a random cat. Yep. Oh, oh. Oh, damn, what the hell? Okay. <laughs> we used to do this when we were children, you know, like walk on shadows. Oh, is this like a discrimination? Yeah. These are go are these goblins? Yeah. Oh no, not only goblins, there's like other Damn. Yeah. 
Oh my god, that's a that's a spell, isn't it? There's like a little thing in the head. Oh damn. <laughs> She's just randomly moving around here and there. <laughs> Goblin Slayer. Oh my god. One millis bronze piece per head. Left ear. <laughs> Yo, what is this? Goblin Slayer? Like the whole setting. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, here you go. You made a mistake here, kid. Uh. Okay, that's not a, any way to actually ask for... F Okay, wait, he's A rank. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Damn. So looked at their equipment and they're like, yep. Not getting involved. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, he she's going to she's going to punch him. Ah! Oh my god. Oh. Yo, kid. You're going to die here. <laughs> you know, you know Eris how much muscles er Eris packs? Yeah. She's she's just going to do. <laughs> oh my okay. <sighs> Damn it, Eris! <laughs> Just <laughs> what? Oh, oh my God! Liff, Liff Grimoire. Okay. Uh, yep. <laughs> um, well, stage in the making. Ah, uh, do you know incantationless magic? Can you do that? Can you do that? Uh. <laughs> we're going to we're going to slay goblins. Wait, are these, these are not goblins? These are goblins? Oh, interesting. This is like, each of the goblins looks kind of different. Wait, where's Rigid? Damn. Incant incantationless magic, you know? But that's a very cool magic. Oh my god, she's he's he's Megumin. 
What the hell? <laughs> this is Megumin. <laughs> you almost killed Eris. Like, what the hell, dude? <laughs> oh my oh my god well well no you you burned them completely we don't get money now uh, we know that exodus flame advanced uh, well, Rudy knows, um, what was it called? Kum, Kulumi Numbers or something? What was it called? <laughs> Wait, we need the ears! Oh! Yeah. <laughs> oh, that is okay. That was incantation for healing. I was like, what was he saying? Uh Okay. Eh. Oh my god, this kid's probably going to mess up somehow and will Like something's going to happen. He he seems a bit too confident. Is Rigid like keeping an eye on them or something? I feel like, like he's probably in the shadows or somewhere. Ugh. Amateur. <laughs> ah! Amateur. Well, I, I think Rigid is probably keeping an eye on them. Fly. Can he fly? Yeah. <laughs> oh damn. Other adventurers. Yeah, maybe some some of them came for some job or something. Wow. Oh. Nice. Hmm. Ah! <laughs> Just... Okay. Oh! Wait, this is like bandits? Temple Knights. Okay, yeah, I think these are like bandits or something. Her eyes. No, these are not bandits. Okay, these are some high level people. Serve the Pope. Hmm. 
ब्लेस चाइल्ड ओ काइंड ऑफ लाइक द अदर गाय फॉर गॉट हिज नेम द किड इज वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग Oh wait, really? Oh my god. All right, so we need to go out and fight then. Okay. Nice. Oh. Mo yeah. Oh, wow, this animation. Smooth. Oh, oh no 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 no. Poison. Oh move move. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, yo. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Wow. Oh no no no. Okay. Oh, got him. There you go. Ah. Damn, it just took care of all of them. Like. <laughs> okay. I feel like if they really were. <laughs> <laughs> in danger, Rujit would have probably come out. I feel like Rujit is somewhere here, some just keeping an eye on them. She's, she's a blessed child, so kind of like that kid, I think. The one who was very strong. Teresa Lateria. And I don't think she's going to believe. No. Obviously, she wouldn't believe that. She's like, yeah. <laughs> oh, we have horses. Nice. We have one person with us. Ah, uh, what? <laughs> oh no, is someone keeping it? Wait. There you go, Richard is there. Yep, he, he was keeping an eye on them. If, if something really happened, he would have come out. Wait, that guy called him Cliff Sama. So. Oh, interesting. The kind of Okay, so these people don't want demons coexisting. Uh, not this kid, the blessed child and the the other Therese, I think they called him. Their faction, I'm guessing. While the current, as he said, their Pope would want, I don't know. I'll have to go back to that portion again while react, while discussing them. So did he recognize them? Well, wait, did he like think like, oh, like, oh my God. <laughs> well, genius mage. <laughs> exactly. 
The world is big, kid. Oh damn, this <laughs> this kid. <laughs> he needs to be a lot more humble, you know. He's a bit too con confident. Saint class. Well, his confidence is just hmm. <laughs> well, there you go. He got his answer. He's thinking Ludius is like, you know, like a adult or something. Because she said that Ludius is his, her teacher. Hmm. Well. He just needs to, like, you know, like reduce his pride a little bit. I'm sure he'll, he'll do you know well because he is a strong ma mage you know <laughs> <coughs> okay so this kid cliff is in, th in these these people's team i'm guessing these people like they called him cliff summer so we also met a few new characters i'm guessing these characters will probably come back in the future seasons like the blessed child Therese maybe Cliff as well there you go fallen in battle Ah, well, he saw them die, you know. I'm guessing those were the people, his teachers. Oh, yeah, now Rudis is like completely, yeah, that that scene, you know, after the fight with Paul. Okay. There is the goblin slayer. There you go. <laughs> well, <laughs> there was not a lot of goblins, I feel like, for the title to be goblin slayer. But yeah, I guess. It works. <laughs> because technically she, she went in search of goblins. And... Yeah. <clears throat> all right so interesting thing we got to got a, a lot of characters like you know introduced like not a lot but three of them um and we can see like a, quite a few things are happening here which we never got had any idea about after watching season two like I, i'll go back to that part because i wasn't able to properly understand what they were saying so there's like two factions i'm guessing one faction wants the coexistence with demons and another faction doesn't want that is that what's happening and cliff is in the faction which wants the coexistence i'm guessing or is it the reverse i'll, I'll go i'll go have to, i'll have to check that part out again while the blessed child and therese they're on the other faction <coughs> Okay, that's the end. All right, you know what? First, let me go back to that part. I <coughs> I need to get clarified about that whole scene. Um, 
Okay, where is it? Okay, first of all, um, there, like he says like these are assassins, these are all masters, not even I can stand a chance against them. We should keep hidden and wait them to leave. Uh, Cliff says all of this. Okay, that won't work. They already noticed us. Where is it? Okay, no, no, that this part. Okay, um, <coughs> the danger is obvious. Okay, people say the blessed that blessed child could be the next pope. Oh, so that child can be the pope. I, I completely, I didn't notice this part while I was reacting to it. Okay, the blessed child could be the next pope. Okay, meaning those men in black are assassins working for the Pope of Melis. Oh, so the Pope of Melis, the current Pope, I'm guessing, um, like his men are these men in black who are these assassins that attacked the blessed child and you know her people because she is like another Pope candidate. All right, so now I understand that. Now the next question here is, who is in which team? Okay, um, where is it? I think uh, when the guy is dying, he says something like that. Where is it? Um, okay. <clears throat> when he's dying, that 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 guy, he said, uh, like uh, Cliff Sama, what are you doing with a temple knight? And then Rijat comes in. Why did you target a child? Uh, who are you? Okay. And here's here here it comes. Rijat of dead end. Okay, dead end. Why would you side with them? Them, I'm guessing uh, he means uh, the blessed child and Therese. They, uh, here we go. They want to drive out all the demons. So all right. <clears throat> I'm not with them. Join us then. <clears throat> the current Pope wishes to coexist with them and there you go. So, okay, so you're saying like, if the, like their fear is that if uh, the blessed child, she becomes the Pope and since she is in the other faction, which does not want the demon to coexist with people, they would drive all the demons out if she becomes the Pope. That's why they were trying to assassinate her. Uh, while the current pope that these guys are talking about, which I'm guessing is the group of Cliff's group, you know, they want the coexistence with demon. Okay, so interesting. Like, so that's what happened. Now I don't know who these people are and what their actual. You know, that's like that's I'm guessing their goal currently, like to assassinate the blessed child and all right so <clears throat> i'm guessing we'll meet these characters again in the future now here's the interesting part i actually realized what the first scene was after seeing this episode that was cliff's story wasn't it so let me go back to that part again because at first without any context i understood nothing now that I have a context as to what that part was probably was, I'll probably be able to understand his backstory if I rewatch that section. Okay, so <coughs> it starts. First, we see an emblem with an, a, a sword. Okay, and there's an emblem. I'm guessing this is like the, the emblem of the kingdom. All right, uh, then we go to a little house where i'm guessing this is cliff he's born mother mother and a father three of them the the her house is burning down and there's some people there's some knights i'm guessing someone some soldiers they are here with swords uh, the mother is carrying the child the father is begging they kill the father probably the mother as well yeah cliff is alone walking I'm, I'm guessing this is cliff because yeah it's probably cliff this is probably cliff's backstory he's just walking on the bridge <coughs> when like a like a like a carriage comes in carriage stops 
I'm guessing this is the Pope. You know, the guy who is just looking at him. The current Pope, I'm guessing. And with the soldiers beside him. He, he grabs him. And <clears throat> yeah, that's the Pope. We go to the cathedral. Yeah, there you go. It's, it's clear now. It's the Pope. Everyone's bowing to him or kneeling to him. Okay, there's some lady who came in who I'm guessing just changed his clothings, uh, made Cliff more presentable, put new clothings on her. We can see little teardrop kind of falling from Cliff's eyes. And <clears throat> okay, he's given a wand. The scene changes. There's some teachers teaching him, I'm guessing. These teachers, I guess he was just talking about, you know, in the last scene, like, where's my teachers? And he uses magic and everyone's like, wow, this is amazing. You know, you're the best and starts clapping. So he understands that he is really good at magic that goes to his head. And that's why now we, like, you know, we can see the, the change in his attitude. Like, he's too prideful now. He thinks like he's the best and no one can, like, you know, defeat him at his age. So he's happy about that. And because he gets praised for it. Usually, like, this is the thing, usually, like, you know, characters like this who have nothing, when they get praised about something, they take it very personally and seriously, because, you know, that's the only thing they have, and that's why they cling to it. And that's why, since, like, you know, that's why we can see Cliff's, uh, like, you know, Cliff clings to the whole concept that I'm the best at magic. So, suddenly, Ares coming and, like, you know, saying, like, oh, Rujit is even better than you, uh, not Rujit, sorry, Rudius is even better than you. You know, he, he suddenly just lost his ground. You know, it, it just shattered. The place where he's clinging to just shattered in front of him. And that's why he got so, like, you know, jealous and, like, you know, kind of became angry a little bit. And just heartbroken. Okay, now we see him uh, in, in front of the window. He looks at the other soldiers just going around, I think. He's happy. He starts following them. And that's where it starts. Like, this first scene was... Without any context, I was like, what is happening here? And now that we know what happened after the whole thing, I'm like, alright, so that's basically his backstory. Makes sense. <clears throat> alright, then we go to uh, Eris. <laughs> Eris is just, like, you know, kind of going around places, going to different places, just following cats and everything. And here we can see... Oh, another thing I realize now. Um, no, wait a minute. Wait, um, the current Pope allows demon coexistence then why is there so much discrimination going on like we can see like you know there's like a shop where there's written like oh no like you know i'm guessing no demi humans allowed or something you know there's like a signboard and that's why the, the the shopkeeper just pushed him away that was a goblin i'm guessing and then there was like they were like you know charging extra for the like you know for non-humans and there was like this discrimination going on so, okay, so let me guess here. I'm guessing the current Pope does allow demon coexistence, but this is the result of it. You know? Demons coexist with people, but like this, they're being discriminated against and like, you know, it's a very messy situation. While like, so I'm guessing it'll be kind of like a situation like this, where it does seem the current Pope actually wants the better for the demons. And like you know, and the dem 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 humans, he wants the better for them. It seems like it because he's allowing the coexistence, but the actual story inside is very bad. You know, like there's discrimination. There's people are just bullying. Like you know, like a non-humans like this, and this is going on. So it's like a. It seems like it's a good thing, but in the inside, it's very bad. The situation. While I'm guessing the blessed child and her faction doesn't want demon coexistence but that would actually be better in the long run because you know like they could just relocate the demons to a separate place and they can make a country of them they can peacefully coexist over there like this is what i'm thinking it, it, it's it, maybe it really kind of like that of a situation because if coexistence doesn't work with humans you know you should just you know like kind of make them a different place and give them like a place for themselves and like you know humans who want to coexist can go 
and like you know kind of talk with them and like you know hang out with them and little by little you can just break down the walls between them and everything can be peaceful like that like instead of just uh just forcing them together in a place and like you know the inside being like this type of a discrimination filled um you know situation just do it like this let them take their time little by little they can just hang out with each other and everything and then like you know coexist together if they want and if there's like you know like i'm sure there a time will come where a significant amount of people would want to coexist then they can like you know just make another country or another place where humans and demons coexist those people who are willing to coexist can go there or something like that i don't know this is just a theory i just came up with and it, it must be something like that because they said the current pope wants coexistence but this is happening this whole discrimination thing which is just nasty you know like them being just bullied around so i don't know this is just what i'm guessing but yeah the discrimination in the beginning also kind of makes sense now because we kind of get the actual reason and everything you know that like that whole situation where we meet the uh, cliffs people and the blessed child their people and like you know their pope how like you know we get that story the first scene also makes sense now that is like you know that scene where they were being discriminated against makes actual sense now why they were being discriminated against because we we get to know what's happening here they're allowing coexistence but there is no laws or rules that would not allow for discrimination people are just doing whatever they want to these like you know um, non-humans and that's not right so anyways okay so that's what happened now eris is just like you know went to the guild i'm guessing and oh my god this scene reminded me of so much of goblin slayer you know like just <laughs> like uh, someone goes and like asks for like you know like a job and the girl is the lady the receptionist is like okay uh, like you know like the there's like goblin slaying job uh bring the ears of the goblin <laughs> and then we see like you know a person like just wanting to be in some other like you know teams like you know part of a team <laughs> that whole thing <laughs> anyways um so yeah here we meet cliff and cliff is like okay um kind of like you know bad mouthing those adventures and <clears throat> Cliff is like, yeah, I'm, I'm the best, you know, you, you guys, you guys should be happy to take me this and that. We can see, like, you know, his pride is through the roof, like, obviously, because, you know, this is the only thing he has and he's prideful about. So, this magic. So, Eris comes in and Eris is like, alright, so, don't, you know, like, don't mess with, like, you know, someone else. Uh, sorry, um, Eris says, some, what did she say? Oh, don't mess with him, you know, what are you doing? And those those guys looks looks at his equipment. They're like, "Yep, not getting into this trouble. Just go away, goes away." But Cliff is like, "Why did you do that?" You know, like calls her ugly or something. I think. <laughs> and uh, my God, he's just punches. And that's when it start, Cliff started following her, and she's like, "He's like, oh, like I I can support you. You know, like I can do my magic. I'm the best." I can like you know like I am I'm I'm very well versed with magic spells and everything and you can see one thing here you know he says I can outperform your average a rank mage you see Eris is like is this the part where no no just a sec not this part sorry where is it where he talks about Rudius Okay, there you go. You can't be a better mage than Rudius. There aren't any. You see this part? She actually talks about Rudius here. He, he doesn't even listen to it. He says, I doubt even uh, you have seen a mage of my caliber. This shows how much he's prideful. Like he didn't even, he didn't even register in his ears that there can be someone better than him. It, it is clearly said here that Rudius is a lot better than you. It didn't even register in his head. He's, he was so full of himself. That's what happened. And later on, we got to see where, like, you know, he's kind of settled down. When Eris says, like, oh, Rudy, uh, Rudius is a lot better than you. That's when he says, oh, wait, who's Rudius? And 
interesting like you know like the first scene that that kind of shows that he is so prideful like i don't know this is just my interpretation like it didn't even register in his head that there could be someone who's even better than him like my god <laughs> and yeah he just starts keeping like you know, keeps talking about all of these and then we see the goblins just come in it's interesting i can see like you know the goblins have like different appearances like as far as i like you know like i'm accustomed to goblins are these little type of things with very like you know thin hands and everything with <laughs> green colored you know like body and face while here we can see there's like goblins are kind of different like one goblin even has a little like, patch of hair like what the hell <laughs> and they're quite muscular like um goblins are not muscular hobgoblins are muscular like you know so it was interesting to see that and uh, <laughs> Air starts fighting them by, while Cliff just burns the whole, all of them down and their ears are, are just burned up and Ares is like, yeah, like, what the hell? He's like, like don't follow me now. <laughs> and then <laughs> Cliff again gets punched. He just starts like, you know, like boasting about how good he is and all of that. And uh, Okay, and then he's like, okay, let's go to the forest. And Ares is like, no, I, I, I don't want to. And Cliff is like, oh, I was scared. And she's like, all right, let's go. Like, <laughs> he knows how to they make, like, everyone knows, I guess, how to make a reaction, like, you know, uh, out of Ares. Like, if someone actually says something competitive, competitive to her, she's definitely going to, like, you know, just respond back. And yeah, they go into the forest and yeah they 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 become lost cliff wasn't looking for, like you know keeping track of that thing and but i knew like rujit is there i knew like he's probably somewhere in the shadows like i was sure rujit wouldn't actually let them alone you know like like these are kids and he knows like what could like gonna happen and obviously rujit loves kids and that's why he wouldn't leave them alone so he was there in the shadows just keeping an eye on them and there they like you know listen to the like you know like Eris uses his her awareness or whatever go to the scene where this assassins or whatever they're attacking and we meet the blessed child we I think don't we don't know her name did they mention her name here I don't think so uh, but we do name the knights uh know the knight's name her name is Therese Therese I think yeah and they are like you know being attacked by these uh, people <clears throat> and they were like you know almost going to be killed so Ares comes out well and obviously cliff at first cliff was like oh these are very strong people even you should not you know <clears throat> go and like you know get involved in this now one thing i realized later on okay i'll talk about it later that comes a little bit later um so yeah Eris comes out, starts attacking, and boy, the animation was fantastic. Eris knows how to move, you know, like Eris's martial arts mastery is just amazing. He, she, she just, just owns them completely. I love the scene, especially where she, like, you know, in the end, where she goes to stabs the guy who was almost going to get the blessed child and, uh, like, you know, Theres stops him. And then there's someone coming from behind. Eris, where is that part? Okay, no, uh, Eris stabs the guy, you know, and it's stuck. His, like, you know, her sword, sword is stuck. Someone comes from behind, tries to get her. And, okay, Theris says, like, take care, the daggers are smeared with poison. Okay. He, she leaves the sword there. <laughs> Jumps on the sword. Somersaults. Dodges. Oh, and takes his sword out of his hand, disarms him, and kills him. That was impressive. And just throws it away. And takes her sword back. Wow, that was really good. And yeah, the animation is as always smooth and clean. And yeah, that was it. So that happens. And... Okay, so these people are called the Temple Knights. Okay, that's their name. Um, Therese says, uh, okay, where is it? I am Therese Latria. 
Teres Latria. Okay, so these are the Temple Knights, while the current Pope's faction is the people who are attacking them. And Cliff is also within, within that faction, I'm guessing. Not faction, but the, like, you know, the current Pope and their like, you know, people. And <laughs> Eris says like, oh, my name is Rigid, I'm a spirit. And <laughs> Teres is like, what are you saying? And then she's like, all right, fine. Like, you know, and <laughs> like, obviously she doesn't look like a spirit at all. But yeah, she, she wants to, you know, like uh, improve Rigid's reputation, just like Rudius wants to. So yeah. And then she's like, can you help us out? And uh, yeah, they just jump on like you know, the horse and they go away okay now interesting thing here here i was kind of asking why is cliff wearing the helmet i understand now um i'm pretty sure there is new cliff you know because he's part of the the pope's group and that's why cliff put on the helmet so that Therese is not able to recognize him and that's why he put on the helmet it, it makes sense now i understand because you know at that moment i did not know he was part of the uh like you know pope's group but after that we see like you know one of the um like silence who attacked them saying that like cliff someone what are you doing with the temple knights and yeah that's why he put on the helmet so that therese and the blessed child could not recognize him because obviously like you know he is supposed to be a, a very good uh, wizard i'm guessing a very good mage and he is part of the Pope's group, so I'm pretty sure a lot of people know him. Especially if it is someone like Therese or uh, the Blessed Child. So that's why he put on the helmet so that no one can recognize him. And that's what happened. Like, it makes sense now, I understand. Alright, so now in comes Rigid and uh, like, you know, uh, the, the guy who is dying, he asks like, why are you like, you know, helping them out? Uh, because they don't want demons to coexist now this is where as again as i said I, I came up with the theory myself the pope it seems like the pope is actually the person who is at wrong here because i don't know i feel like there's something going on like it, it seems like the pope is doing a good thing by letting demons and everyone coexist but look at what's happening like you know within the whole thing you know there's like a rampant bullying like discrimination this and that so i don't know i feel like this is like a bad idea and the thing that the blessed child and like you know the the, the temple um what was the name i just forgot the temple temple flag faction the temple knights sorry the temple knights the thing that the temple knights are trying to do is as they say they're trying to drive out the demons out of here maybe i don't know maybe they just want to make a separate place for them you know a, 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 a kind of place just for them or something like that for the demons and they could live a lot better life there because as i said you know like coexistence can only happen when you know like when you actually just take time and just let you know like let let just everything happen naturally so just forcing the humans and the non-humans together is not going to work out we, we can see that here either we need to introduce some laws and rules either that or we need to actually separate them for the time being and let time take its course little by little there definitely will be people who would want to coexist together and then we can do that we can do something like that not like this this is just like you know like this is just we're just bullying the demons at this point here like either introduce some heavy laws that oh you you cannot do this if, if we see catch you doing something like this you know like uh, like um, discriminating against the de uh, like you know demons we are going to uh, you know like fine you or you're going to jail or something like this either that or this so i don't know like this 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 is just what i think and uh, okay now that happens and that's the end and obviously like you know we know we knew where where this was going cliff just says like marry me <laughs> and <laughs> it's just like what why no like, like <laughs> what are you even saying <laughs> and he's like and then he's like, oh, like, you know, Riz, no, he, uh, at first he says like, oh, I'm such a great mage, you know, what are you even saying? Like, I, I thought like, you know, <laughs> you would not uh, deny me. Then, Eris talks about, starts talking about Rudy, and 
he says stuff like Rudy is the same class water mage you know he can do incantationless magic obviously Cleave doesn't believe her uh, and he even says like oh he defeated this person at that time this and that starts just talking about him and Cliff just looks at her and he realizes like yeah like I, 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 I cannot do anything about this he looks at uh, Eris talking so happily about Rudy and he just leaves and uh, yeah that's it so That was that and then obviously Eris goes back and we know what happened after that you know the whole Paul like you know that thing happens like Paul and Rudy kind of fight and uh, Eris comes back and Eris is angry you know like like Paul did something like that to Rudy this and that we know all of that and then we see Cliff back in you know uh, his place his inn I'm guessing and someone comes in this lady and he says, like, rumor has it that all your teachers fell prey to wandering demons. Rumor has it. Now, I don't know if these teachers are actually... No, they probably are not. Like, I thought these teachers were actually those people who attacked the blessed child. But it's probably not. And... Yeah, but, but he did see, like, you know, uh, the, tem uh, like, you know the, the, the Pope and their people getting defeated like that so now I don't know what he does after this either he starts studying you know or he's writing a letter I don't know what it is but either of it he does utter Rudy's name after that so yeah I'm guessing we are probably going to meet Cliff in the future I'm pretty sure we're going to definitely going to meet the blessed child and Therese in the future but Cliff as well I'm guessing we are going to meet because I thought at first I thought he's probably like just like a one episode character or something but it doesn't seem like that now because he seems to be involved in something and I'm guessing we're going to see that in the future seasons so yeah anyways that's it thanks for watching guys um, this was a really good episode, I have to say, and we got a lot of new information which will probably help us uh, figure out a lot of more things when we start season 2, and these things will start coming to light. So, yeah, and we got to see more of Eris and, like, you know, some cool animation, we met some new characters and all that. So, that was a great uh, OVA, so yeah, that's it, thanks for watching guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and I will check them out. So that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys uh, in the next video until then goodbye and have a nice day.